Hi, I'm Dr. John Snow, the CEO of Cholera, and I've been using the scientific method to locate your sources of cholera since 1854. Have you always wanted to experience India? Do you feel overly hydrated from water that's just too clean? Here at Vibrio Cholera, we have just the solution for you. Cholera is the number one eliminator of hydration. Using vomiting and diarrhea technology, we've come up with the perfect solution to fix your pesky hydration problem. Cholera is all the rage in the 19th century. It even gets the government more involved in sewer and sanitation programs. And now, for a limited time offer, we have a two, three, and four for the price of one deal with our family packs. You can all drink the same water and get the same strand of cholera today. Call 1-800-CHOLERA within the next 10 minutes and get cholera delivered through your sewers in as little as 12 hours. Once again, that's 1-800-C-H-O-L-E-R-A. Call now! <laughs> If you are experiencing side effects, call your doctor to ask about quarantine, leeches, punishment for sin, mercury, or electric shock therapy. Fix your filthy tenements and sewers today with 1-800-CHOLERA. Call now! Hi, I'm Francisco Pizarro. Ever since I was a young boy, I always dreamt about conquering and murder and destroying indigenous populations in the Americas. But I always thought it would never be possible for a guy like me. The Inca were just too strong for me to pillage their land and society and adopt the Mita system all by myself. But then I was introduced to smallpox. I really felt my self-confidence building as smallpox took care of the native population before I ever had to. By the time I got there in the 1530s, all I had to do was swoop in and finish them off. Smallpox is really an all-in-one package, an effective on-the-go method for any busy conquistador. In fact, it's so efficient and on-the-go that you'll bring it with you wherever you go, whether you want to or not. It even shows you what you're getting right on the box. It's 100% grown in Afro-Eurasia, so you're totally immune. And there's the virus itself. It's been custom designed for a quick and easy transmission through bodily fluid. I would fully recommend smallpox to anyone who's reached a rut in their conquering journey. It really improves your results. With no previous exposure, Native Americans have no immunity, so smallpox could destroy up to 90% of their population without you doing anything. Me, for example. I wrapped out an entire population in just one year. Atahualpa never knew it hit him, thanks to smallpox weakening his imperial and military authority. If you're more of a DIY kind of conquistador, smallpox can even be used as a biological weapon. Just give it to the natives and bam, they're gone. As William H. McNeil said, Moreover, it is worth considering the psychological implications of a disease that killed only Indians and left Spaniards unharmed. Such partiality can only be explained supernaturally, and there can be no doubt about which side of the struggle enjoyed divine favor. Smallpox, get yours today. Do not use smallpox if you are prone to fever, vomiting, tiredness, small red spots, painful postules, or death. If you are not of Afro-Eurasian descent, you are not likely to have immunity to smallpox and may experience some or all of the described side effects. It is recommended that only those who have been around farm animals and in crowded cities use smallpox, as they are not as likely to experience severe side effects. The effect of smallpox may be decreased by the use of medicine, such as inoculation, in early form of vaccine. Are you a serf and tired of the feudalistic ways of life? Is overpopulation of your cities keeping you down? Are you uneducated and illiterate because you don't have the time or money to do anything but work? Are barbarians habitually raiding your homes? Does your church have too much power? Or are the church officials just too corrupt for your liking? Introducing the Black Plague. The plague, also known as the Black Death, drastically decreases the population in 14th century Eurasia, taking care of all of those pesky neighbors keeping you in serfdom. No more feudalism, because you can now demand actual pay for your labor, because there's no one else to hire. 
And now, you have the time and money to educate yourself and your family. Goodbye farm work. Hello, skilled labor. The plague also decreases the legitimacy of the church. No one likes a god who punishes the innocent. But that's not all. The plague now allows you to use Jews, lepers, and women as scapegoats. It's an all-in-one package. And, for the particular among us, the plague now comes in three different variations. The bubonic, for those wanting a more lymph nodular experience. The pneumonic, for those who hate that breath of fresh air. And the septicemic, for those who enjoy when things get bloody. Hi, I'm Peter Bruegel, and this is my painting, The Triumph of Death. Look at all those corpses, opening up all sorts of opportunities for you. Take advantage of the limited time offer, and you can triumph too. Brought to you by the Mongol Empire's Battle of Kaffa in association with Animals and Fleas. Denise.